Today's health talk question is, what is the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes? Well, I think we went over that a little bit, Nancy, but maybe you could review again for our viewers at home. What's the difference between them? Sure. So type 1 diabetes is thought to be due to a problem with um, autoimmunity, which means the body is making antibodies to the beta cells in the pancreas that make insulin. Um, classically, it was, occurs more in children. Type 2 diabetes is um, thought to be more hereditary. It also um, is related to obesity, and it is uh, really um, a matter of not having enough insulin because there's a lot of resistance to the insulin. But to give a more holistic approach, we now have children that have type 2 diabetes, um, and we have plenty of older adults that develop sort of a classic autoimmune picture. So um, it's really much more of a spectrum and not just kind of two separate entities. Is, is there a way you could say absolutely someone has type, D, type 1 diabetes if they get diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA? Does that mean they're type 1? Well, that is a good way to do it. That's sort of a clinical, um, a clinical diagnosis. The other way to do it is to measure antibodies, um, and there's a few of them that we can measure um, uh, to determine that. And sometimes we do that when we're not sure. Uh, we've got a, just a few seconds. Do you ever see a vaccination available that they prevent type 1 diabetes? Well, that's very interesting. Um, up until now, I don't think the studies have been that promising for it, and there's been a lot of research. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know. It's not in the immediate future. I, I, don't, I don't see that, but I guess we can always be hopeful. Nancy, thank you very much. This was a great show today. Really thank informative. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Very, very exciting. Uh, so if you at home have a question you'd like to ask me on Health Talk, please contact me at healthtalk at norwalkhealth.org.